a new uh, Baker Own product range in, and it's our scone mix. It's a good jar scone mix. The same one we used in the bakery, but now you've done a wee packets for you to make it home. Um, dead, dead handy. A great thing to have in the house for making scones for guests if you have them coming. You can get about six to nine scones, depending on how big you make them. And uh, lovely fresh, you know, lovely light scones made in your house. Or you can make them with your kids. You know, a great thing to do with the kids. And uh, you don't have to weigh up anything. So come on over here and I'll show you how easy it is. But here's all the things you need to make your scones. So we've got a bag of scone mix, 125 milliliters of water, and an egg. And uh, a few bits and bobs here of um, holes and uh, some plain flour and things that we need to make the scones. But um, we'll make a start and we'll explain it as we go. All right, so we'll take our bag of scone mix, just rip it open. Have your oven preset to 220 degrees. It's nice and warm, ready to go. Throw in your scone mix. Okay, and throw in your water. 125 milliliters. And your egg. Oh, just a normal sized egg. This egg's probably a little too big actually, but a medium, normal sized eggs. Big enough. So, heat that up so it's all smooth and beat up. Throw that in too. So, that's all the ingredients you need to add to make your scones. And then get your spoon and uh, make the dough. The dough is quite a firm dough, but you know, it's a scone dough. This is the stage now where you could add your own flavours. You can you know, you have fruit, you can have Mars bars, uh, chocolate, orange, cherries. A lot of different things. There we go. So, you can see it's like a scone like texture. Um, so, leave that there. Put some flour on a wee bench. And then we'll heal it out. Try to get as much out as possible. You don't want to waste any. Also add some vanilla flavour, orange flavour, lemon zest. That'd be a nice one, lemon zest. Be lovely. There we go. Put that out of the road. So there's our, there's your scones. <laughs> Put some flour on the top, and just want to make it into some a usable sort of shape. Going to need the dough. Um, just sort of debops it a wee bit more. Sort of makes it into a nice wee round shape. So there you go. And the one thing I forgot to roll it. Uh, hold on. Back. So rolling pin. So I'm gonna roll it out. It's about an inch thick. So I'll show it up to you. Put that there. Um, an inch, an inch and a half. Depends how big you want to scones. Now, I have three different cutters. Now, if you don't have cutters at home, don't panic. You could just get a knife and cut them into whatever shape you want. Wee squares, triangles, doesn't matter. Um, I want these to be products that anyone could do at home with very limited ingredients and limited um, uh, utensils. You know, Sandy for people who live outside of Newcastle. Sandy for people who don't have, you know, everything at home. So this is something nice to do. Cut them out. Um, not a bad idea to dip your colour in flour. It stops it from sticking. And then once you run, run out of room, just keep going. So, you'll probably speed this wee bit up in the camera. Six and eight. You do really nice wee dinky ones. So you could. The smaller they are, the quicker they will bake. So it depends how hungry you are. Seven. And give them more. So, remember, you don't want to waste any. You 
Yeah, it'll be there the last bit. Right, that's probably just alright where it is. See? No. There I have it. Get the eight scones, ready to go in the oven. So we'll throw them in and in about 15 months time, 15 to 18 months time, they should be ready. Bye scones. <laughs>